Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, as you can see, I'm next to a very beautiful lady. Uh, Nicole is all the way from Virginia. And Nicole is uh, not only a model, as you can sh see, she's very pretty, but she's also an actress. Uh, so Nicole here with us here in New York. Uh, thank you for coming. Uh, why did you come here today? Well, basically I came because I wanted to tell the world my story. Tell your story. I want to let everyone know that no matter where you come from, no matter what tools you have to work with, no matter what's going on in your life, you should never give up on your dreams. You should always go that extra mile because you never know what's going to go on that day. You never know what's going to pop up. You have to have your things in line so if something goes wrong, you always have a backup plan. You just have to make sure that you are good and don't ever try to book your day full of things to do for other people. No matter how bad they make you feel for not doing it, no matter what they say to you, you always have to make sure that in the end that you're going to be okay. Wow. I'm coming from a totally different world on this. Uh, my take on this, I, as Mr. Great, I like to do as little as possible and enjoy a, a lot more. So I don't like to work hard. I don't like to uh, do th things. I like when I do very little amount of work and it's produced a lot, a lot of uh, results. So I'm very lazy. I'm very different from you. From you. <laughs> I, I, would, I would never advise like, like that. I think in the acting industry, it's important to do one role or a couple of roles because time is ticking. You, you have not that much time. It looks, the you know, uh, goes away and there are different roles coming up so you need to do very little work and have major major results so you do have a show and it makes a lot of money out of this otherwise hard work a lot of people work hard you ask every person who try in the industry everyone will tell you they try hard they put a lot of effort and time and only a few actually survive so working hard is not the best answer uh, it's you chasing those folks on the wild goose chase they will spend time and effort and uh, at the end uh, it's a lot of disappointment so i think it's important to have very thought out very small uh, process let me ask you a question you are non-union but you want to be, uh, become a union actress yes like why is that like what uh, what it gives you what's the difference between union and non-union uh, actress well, often their pay is better, everything, your health care is better, everything from that standpoint is better. I mean, even <laughs> the food on the set that you get is better when you're okay. union. I see. Uh, but uh, union jobs are very limited, right? And union yes. overall uh, cost of production is very expensive. So a lot of indie movies are making a ton, way more money as a business rather than uh, so there is much less work for the union than non-union actress so a lot of girls who are non-union make a killing income and the uh, union girls are just starving it's even a lot of them can pay the dues wow. you know like uh, i don't know if you've been around and uh, you've seen people in the industry but it's not a fair for, for everybody well i i also know that once you join in the union you you are limited to work because you cannot n any longer accept non-union right. jobs you're only right. doing union jobs right. so i think it's all dependent on the stage in your life that you're in and the work that you've done like if you've accomplished your goals which would probably be to have a real maid and to have work to show what kind of actress you are mm -hmm. i would say once you have that that would be the right time to join with the union i see uh is the accent uh, particularly makes a difference in the union let's say i have heavy russian accent so your accent is uh, from uh uh south uh, i would say uh to my ear like uh, would that uh, something that uh, union folks uh, uh, when they hire you for the movies would consider or you can do different accents you could have different accents and often you would want to do a class so you can learn how to speak in just an american tone instead of having a certain dialect so that could also limit you in having 
Mm -hmm. certain jobs whether you're non-union or union for the uh different accent uh do you need, really need to go for the class or you can do it youtube videos you can do like a practice for yourself like a i think you yeah. could set it up and do it yourself if you just but set up your cell phone camera you get on youtube you practice 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 you go back and watch yourself e i mean even have a friend listen to it and just make sure that you're saying your words right because to you, you don't think you have an accent. <laughs> you know, other people often hear it, but it might slip out here and there. It helps because uh, the uh, folks back home, they recognize something familiar and they are uh, rooting for you. So it might actually be helpful uh, in some ways, especially if you come from a wealthy neighborhood to where you know the accent actually a lot of people have those uh, this kind of accent uh how do you make money as an actress as a model like, what's the secret to convert non-paying gigs to paying pay gigs i think it's all about what you have on tape if you don't have anything at all if you don't have any experience you want to go ahead and get the jobs that you can get which are going to be the easiest ones which are non-paid gigs and that's the way you can really go and build up your experience people <clears throat> in nowadays if you're nobody and you have a great uh, look and you have a great accent and you have a great story you can become instant star right away and someone who has ton of experience and done it all their life they never make it big so do you think really, really the experience nowadays uh, uh, that important because i think the instagram kind of uh level the field for the new folks and the uh people who've been uh, in the industry for a long time i think it's not it's experience combined with what you have to show like when the casting director is looking through this pile of people they're gonna if you start your reel off with something that's someone else or something really boring or a look that's no good they're gonna push you to the side if you keep on accepting background work and non-paid work you're gonna get pushed to the side you have to step your game up and you have to get your things organized and that's where the hard work comes in uh, you're very pretty uh, let's say you walk on the streets of New York which you do sometimes right uh, a photographer, someone like me, would like to hire you for the gig. What would be the proper way to approach a model, an actress uh, on the street? If I come to you and give you my business card, would that be uh, sufficient, or I need to say like who I am and what, what I do? Like, what would be the best line? Uh, I think the photographers will find that uh, advice very useful. Well, let's say you're you don't have your portfolio with you let's say you don't have all of your things and you just happen to run into a model on the street or an actress on the street or no just a new face it all depends you on, on the phone. what you don't you need a portfolio phone <laughs> has yeah it, has well it all, if right? you're passing out cards and you don't have any of your links on it or anything for people to check out they're not going to take you seriously because they don't think that you're doing anything they don't see anything worth right, it so links are important on the yeah your yeah. links and your work and your mm -hmm. portfolio to show people what you're doing because someone can sit here and talk to you all day but that doesn't mean they're doing anything okay uh is there any particular advice for the audience uh as the uh, model and actress how to start in the industry i would start off treating it like it's a real job don't treat it like it's some extra thing that you're doing treat it like a real job you have to have a resume you have to have you don't even have to have an agent but you have to treat it like a job you have to treat it like so, something important where do you think the industry will go from now on in the future what's the uh, future five ten years from now acting modeling what do you think it will look like well, it already looks futuristic now, so I can only imagine <laughs> in the future how much more futuristic it would look. Do we have uh, animated <laughs> characters instead of actress, or like what? How do you compete with the CGI? How, uh, like what, what do you do? Like, do you think the girls will all will have this uh, plastic surgery? Do you think people will go for a uh, natural look? Like, what's the future looks like for modeling? Uh, I think nowadays, like the girls who live far away in little towns before never had a voice 
unless you are working on the right bar, right place in the city, and the scouting agent or casting director sees you, you don't get a, that chance. Nowadays, even if you live in a little town, little village, or no, in the middle of nowhere, all you do is just take a couple of pictures with your phone. If you became a star and a celebrity on Instagram, uh, you're gonna get that call. Like, please come and uh, model for us. Please come and be our actress. And nowadays, I see more and more actors been hired not because they're the best at it or they have the skill or knowledge but because they have bigger a following if a casting director makes a decision i have two mo two actors one has amazing huge billion dollar following on instagram and the other one has all the skill and the credits and education as, as an actress but her following is very tiny which one do i hire as far as numbers for production to make the movie sell they might choose the one with the, like, uh, with a big following which happens on many sets nowadays on the other hand uh, it is that fair for the people of trade i would say no and that's only because let's say they have more talent but it's not all about talent it could be about how unique you are how you do your interview how you do your self tape just make yourself stand out so somebody can remember you Okay, but stand out, let's say, in the music world, just because doing something different. Uh, 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 there are so many notes, and you, you can do all kind of uh, d different uh, melodies. It doesn't sell it. Like sometimes it's something familiar that uh, that sells. Don't you think? That, uh, in the mm. music world, yes. But, but as far the, uh, as actress? the acting world, you want to stand out. Because remember, the casting director is looking through thousands of people a day. And if you're boring and you all look alike... That's the next person. Okay. You want to stand out so they're like, who is this? Wow. I was looking at more numbers. Because in my perspective, let's say I can get someone extremely different uh, stand out and I'll have very limited uh, following people who want that stand out uh, kind of look. But I would rather choose, let's say you have all American look. I'll choose someone who has normal look so it relates to the audience. Uh, don't you think it's it's important to be relevant and uh, be, like when I'm watching you on the screen from home, at home, I want someone who looks similar, someone who uh, I can uh, kind of uh, relate to. That's why all those. Uh, well, are, let me, let me clarify uh, like, uh, on the uniqueness. Uh, the uniqueness would come in handy as far as standing out for a casting director to pick you to get the job. Mm -hmm. Now let's talk about. When you sit and you talk to people, of course you're going to want somebody that you can relate to and somebody that can answer your questions, somebody that can help you through the time you're getting through. Mm -hmm. So I think it all depends on what exactly you're doing. You have to keep your mind focused on what you're doing okay. and proceed that way. You have to look at the long-term goals of it. Okay. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you have more questions or if you'd like to uh, hire Nicole as your actress or model, uh, what's your Instagram by any chance? Nicole Irene, and it's spelled N-I-K-K-O-L-I-R-E-N-E. -E. And uh, you're not having representation now, but you, are you looking to be represented? Yes. So maybe uh, guys like, uh, uh, I don't know if I introduced you today to, um, what's, uh, uh, Ruben or uh, some other folks uh, here today, they have some roster. They might be interesting to, for you to meet. Uh, do you like the space today? Do you like where we are? Like uh, yes. how in the production? Yes, I do. Okay, good. Hopefully uh, you can model and uh, participate in uh, some of our uh, music videos uh, later on today. If we'll get some time. Thank All you right. for coming. Thank you. Thank you for having me.